head soon. OK, guys, we're going live. OK, we've got a red thing around it for live. Well, good evening uh, and welcome to our sixth form presentation as you begin to start imagining and thinking about and uh, discussing with as many people as possible what the next two years will be like for you. Um, if you are joining us from beyond JCG, it's wonderful to have you here and we hope we will see you in person. Please give us a call and we'd love to give you a tour and show you around. Um, for our own year 11, um, we are so proud of you anyway, and I know this is an important year, but the best uh, years are to come, and this is what we're going to be talking about tonight. So I'm going to just pause at this point and let Athena just say a few words. Um, Athena, our head girl in year 13, and just thinking about what the experience of being in the sixth form here at JCG has had on her. Athena. Hi everyone, so I'm Athena and I'm lucky enough to be head girl here at JCG. I studied classical civilization, religious studies and English literature at A-level and I hope to study classics at university. So when I first truly gave thought to what life in sixth form at JCG would be like, I was excited, motivated and prepared for a fresh chapter in my education. Your responsibilities increase, your maturity grows, your friendships broaden and you find a greater passion for your chosen subjects. Each of these reasons were factors in my decision to stay at JCG, but to be really honest, I never doubted that I would stay. I've been at JCG for many years now and I can't stress enough how close it is to my heart. I've loved to see how it's transformed into an even richer experience during sixth form as I've learned to embrace school through my passion for my subjects and more specifically my passion for classics that I discovered here at college. The quality of teaching and the stronger relationships you form with your teachers create a catalyst for incredible growth in your ability and confidence. The opportunities and support provided by the college inspire each and every single sixth form student to realise their true potential. And I genuinely hope that JCG, if you decide to stay, can do the same for you. When browsing the subjects on offer this evening, I really encourage you to keep an open mind. For your passion that may yet be unknown will drive you toward the future you desire. Thank you. Thanks, Athena. As Athena said that when you think about being in the sixth form, um, please do remember being in the sixth form is more than just studying three A levels and an Indian Michaela, Mrs Hopkins and Mrs Pateri will, will say a little bit more about that and I know you'll be spending um, tonight and this next week thinking about what A levels you want to take forward, what three A levels you want to study but I would also encourage you to, to think about it's the time of of building on all that you've invested in the uh, in yourself and the college has invested in you over the last five years and how that is going to mature and and just bring real dividend over the next two years it's a time when you will be really beginning to discern what your academic interests are what the next stage in your life is but most importantly what type of person are you and what do you want to go and do to make better in the world this is the being in the sixth room is a time where it all comes together and is really the crown and glory of your, your life here at JCG. Um, Nikita, do you want to add on from that? Hello, my name's Nikita and I'm the Deputy Pastoral Head Girl. I'm studying maths, further maths, history and economics, and I plan to study mathematics at university. When you enter sixth form, you have the opportunity to join the student leadership team by taking on roles such as being a house captain, a sports captain or a head girl. These roles are great ways to enhance your sixth form experience as you're able to grow in confidence, experience new responsibilities and be able to meet and work with plenty of new people. Athena, Katie and I have loved being on the head girl team this year and it's been really fun making some really special memories of our time at JCG. Thank you and uh, sorry about Hector heckling in the in the background. It wasn't wasn't directed at you. Um, it's live. It's what happens. Um, that's enough. Thank you. So um, when you move into the sixth form, it is a rather liberating experience uh, studying three three subjects um, and, and that sort of academic depth uh, uh, and that you will, you will experience is a, is a wonderful thing. Um, it's also a time to really challenge yourself in different ways, whether that's leadership opportunities, pursuing uh, Duke of Edinburgh, even to gold um, and, and doing the whole range of, of 
opportunities that you know are enriching at JCG and the girls will talk a little bit more about that. Um, what I would encourage you to, to think about is, um, and if you want to move um, Michaela and Inja can come sit down, what I would really encourage you to do is think about the four values of the college, aspire, inquire, excel, belong. And as you move through college, you've begun to understand at a more um, emotional, intellectual level what those mean and how they shape the, the experience you hit, it is at college. The students do excel academically. They do excel academically. But why do they excel academically? It's because number one, they are incredibly well cared for. You are incredibly well cared for and the support is always around you. And over the next two years, when you're making big decisions in your life, um, that care continues and increases even more. Secondly, we teach you well. We know you, you know us, and that familiarity and that co strong quality of teaching and learning is what brings that success. And it's, it's that care and that, and that that quality of teaching and learning that encourage our students to excel. So uh, at this point, I'm going to move away and uh, introduce you to Michaela and India in who are in uh, year 12. Um, and then Mrs. Pateri and Mrs. Hopkins are going to come and go through more some operational things for the support. Please do ask lots of questions. I know talking with many year 11s last week and today that you are feeling the pressure of the expectation of this week. Um, you are going to be making important decisions, but we're not asking you to leave those in a rushed way, but in a quiet, protracted way. Sorry, Hector's misbehaving now. Um, and so we're going to ex extract him from the room. So um, do ask lots of questions, do be patient, and do be honest and share openly how you're feeling at any time. Okay, <coughs> Michaela, India, over to you. Good evening. I hope you're all well. I'm Linda and I'm a year 12 student here at JCG. I study psychology, biology and chemistry. Um, hi, I'm Michaela and I study biology, chemistry and maths. Uh, this evening we would like to speak to you all about life in sixth form at JCG, including the opportunities you'll have and the transition from GCSE to A-level. We hope this will help you to address any concerns you have and support you in the choices you need to make. It doesn't seem that long since I arrived here at JCG, but the biggest change for me has been the transition from year 11 to sixth form. However, the support you'll be provided with is amazing and within a few weeks you'll be shocked that you ever took five lessons a day. This transition comes with so many benefits. Not only do you get to wear your own clothes, you are provided with the privilege of the sixth form centre, the elective programme, study periods and the excitement of studying your chosen subjects in more depth. Um, moving from GCSEs to A-levels definitely has an increase in work as you're expected to do five hours of proactive work um, a week per subject. This makes choosing A-level subjects that are right for you a very important choice and possibly the hardest one. When I sat in your guys' position this time last year, I had a very vague idea of what I wanted to take. I really recommend taking the time to consider all the amazing options that JCG provides with their A-level programme. With new subjects on offer, it's important to really consider what you enjoy as it's what you'll be studying every day for the next two years. It took me a while to determine which subjects I wanted to I wanted further in-depth knowledge of and included many pros and cons of this of what, and a lot of change in my mind as I progressed through the syllabus in year 11. Equally, if you have an idea of what you want to do, it's a good idea to research the required A-levels as, as it will be important when you begin applying to universities. Uh, to help me choose my options, I found it really helpful to speak to other students who took the same sets and try and find people uh, who had a subject that I was interested in choosing to find out what it was like working with them all. Additionally, speaking individually to subject teachers was incredibly helpful as they know you the best and can give you a proper insight into what the next two years will be like and whether it would be right for you. The most important thing whilst making this decision is to choose the subjects that you feel most excited about and the three you're most interested in as it's what will open opportunities up in the future. When you move into the sixth form, there's a change in timetable. In year 12, you'll have one study period each day and in year 13, you'll have two. 
These are hours, and so you'll have a free period, and these are hours of unstructured time where you have the opportunity to complete homework or proactive work. And one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is use them wisely, as although you can walk into town and grab lunch, getting that revision and homework in is much more beneficial. As well as the sick form centre, you have the quiet study room and the library where focused and useful study can take place. And we cannot stress enough how important it is to keep on top of your proactive work, so keep on top of it all. Um, in addition to your three lessons and study periods, you have the elective programme, which is a programme designed to enable you to undertake additional activities to enrich your learning and gives you a break from your study. Four out of five of your elective activities are chosen, with the fifth being a compulsory life skills elective. And there's such a wide range of electives from creative ones like cooking or art, yoga, but you can also get in qualifications like TEFL, criminology or financial studies. Another opportunity that you're provided with when you enter year 12 is a chance to be a junior prefect, which gives you an insight to what a potential role in the student leadership team would be like. For example, I'm a biology and chemistry prefect, where I run clinics for younger years and help with homework club after school, in addition to a lunchtime duty where we ensure younger students are okay and provide students with an opportunity to ask us any questions. Although both of us have only been in the sixth form for a couple of months, we feel like we've already adapted to the change and are very excited to see what the next two years hold. As well as being trusted and relied upon, you'll make new friends, try new activities and gain more responsibility by being at the top of the school. I encourage you to try and make the most of every day in sixth form because before you know it, you'll be in applying to universities. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy the rest of these, this week's talks. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa Spiteri and this is Natalie Hopkins and we have the wonderful job of being Heads of Sixth Form here at JCG. As Mr Howard said, we're going to take you through some of the programmes that we've got for Year 11 this year and the process that they'll go through in researching their options, choosing their options and then preparing to join us in the Sixth Form. Uh, first of all, I'd like to briefly just explain um, our sixth form programme, which is what we call the Advanced Learning Programme. And this has already been mentioned previously, so I'll just go through it very quickly. So we have two levels of study in the sixth form, the first one being what we call core studies, and that's your A-level programme. So each student will pick either three or possibly four A-levels from the 26 subjects that we have available. Um, if a student was choosing four A-levels, that would be because they were doing A-level mathematics and then the fourth A-level would be further mathematics. For all of the students, it would be three A-levels. We do also have subjects offered at our collaboration schools, which is Victoria College, Bolia and De La Salle. So if there's a subject that a student in Year 11 desperately wants to study, but it isn't one of the ones that we offer, it's possible that they could do that through our collaboration agreement. So if that is the case for you or your daughter, I'd encourage you to get in, in touch with those schools. They're all having weeks or evenings similar to ours where they're going to talk through A-level options. So please do get in touch with their heads of sixth form and go along to any presentations that they're having and find out as much information as you can before you, you make your choices. We would encourage students not to have more than one of their A-level subjects uh, outside of JCG just because of moving between lessons can be quite difficult if you're at different at different campuses but if there is something that we don't offer that you'd like to do please do investigate that and come and talk to us if you have any questions. Alongside the core studies we have our elective program as the girls have mentioned there's lots of different choices um, in this program and it will vary from year to year so the elective program that we have currently for our year 12s might be slightly different to the one that's on offer for our, our next year year 12s. Um, but there are lots of courses, some of them are academic and do lead to qualifications, others are creative or designed to be good for wellbeing. We do have some service electives as well where you can go out into the community and do something to help others. Most of the elective courses are a term, so students will choose for the autumn term and then choose something different for spring and then summer. But they do vary from uh, a term up to a year or maybe even two years, so some electives can be taken through into year 13. And those are things like the Certificate in Financial Studies and our new Criminology elective, uh, where students will do examinations in year 12 and can then, if they choose to, continue those courses into year 13 and gain a higher level qualification. 
As the girls have said, in addition to the four hours of chosen electives, there is one compulsory elective which is called Life Skills and Choices. And that is where Mrs Hopkins and I will talk to the students about important issues, um, but primarily it's for preparing for life beyond JCG. So we will talk about university applications, job applications um, and gap year plans and make sure that everyone's fully supported in exploring those options and making their plans for post 18. In addition to your taught curriculum, which is your course, course studies and electives, obviously there's also homework, which in the sixth one is slightly different to how you might be used to it in year 11. You'll be set some homework as you are currently from your teachers, but we also give you time to do proactive work, which is work that you've set for yourself based on, on what your current needs are. And as the girls have mentioned, we would suggest that for every hour in the classroom, you're doing an equivalent amount of time outside of lessons. So that would be five hours of study in school if you used all of your study periods, plus another 10 hours of homework per week. And that would make up your working week of 35 hours. All of that is covered and there's lots more information in our six form prospectus, which year 11 students should now have received a hard copy of. It's also available on our website at the link here and this video presentation will be made available on our JCG TV YouTube channel so you can click on all the links and find all of the information that you'd like to. Good evening, as uh, Ms. Passer has mentioned, I'm Natalie Hopkins, I'm the other head of sixth form. Um, and obviously this is a really exciting time. You've got more freedom of choice over the subjects that you're about to study for the next two years, but with that comes a great deal of responsibility. And so we want to make sure that you've got extensive support available to you um, to ensure that you're making the right decisions. So at GCSE, you had uh, about 14 subjects to choose from. And as Mrs. Pateri just said, you've got 26 here at JCG and uh, a few more at the other colleges around us. So on that basis, there is a particular program that we have in place for year 11 students to help them make those decisions. Obviously, if you're not studying with us at the moment, we're very happy to put a bespoke program together for you to help you make those decisions as well. So please get in touch. Um, but this is what the year looks like for year 11 this year. So we uh, started off a couple of weeks ago before half term where year 11 were gathered together and Mrs Spiteri, Mr Sykes and I put together the post 16 options presentation, which just outlined all the different uh, options that are available to them and some of the information that you've already heard about this evening. This week we start a series of presentations on the different subjects that are available here. So there's lots on offer to you and lots of questions to ask and lots of information to find out. So please make sure that you do tune into those throughout the week. And as has already been said, if you miss any of them, they will be available online. On Wednesday this week, there is the beginning of the QDOS uh, online careers guidance sessions, which will look at different career paths open to students. So you can put in different A-level combinations and it can uh, let you know what that might lead on to in university courses or uh, through to employment, but equally you can put in different jobs and it will show you different career pathways for those jobs. So um, lots of things to look into there. We've also got our core subject, subject taster lessons, which begin next week in lunchtimes for JCG students. Essentially, some of the A-levels that we have on, on offer to you are subjects that you may well never have studied before. So things, as we've heard this evening, like classical civilization uh, is a brand new subject to A-level, and it might be something that you're not too sure what that means. Uh, and so if you come along to the taster sessions, you get a bit more of an overview of what's on offer there and what a lesson might look like. So I really encourage you to engage in those next week. Um, we'll also have year 13 students coming into year 11 forms next Wednesday uh, during form time. And this is a great opportunity. Please use all these uh, available points of contact with either subject teachers or students who are already studying the courses. These guys were in exactly the same position as you two years ago and a really best place to answer any questions that you might have about these courses. So please use them. Uh, and finally, if you would like the opportunity to speak with a careers advisor from Skills Jersey, then that will be available to you from the week beginning the 22nd of November, where again, you can ask questions about specific career paths, which A-levels might be uh, necessary for that, uh, and have any questions answered there. So this term really is all about research, and as it's been mentioned, 
ask lots and lots of questions. Make sure you find out everything that you can. The spring term is really about making your decision. So the GCSE mock examinations will be just after the Christmas holiday, and that will also give you information about subject choices that might be right for you. So use the information that you find from your mocks on what subjects you enjoy, what your strengths are to help guide you. You'll also have an individual interview with one of the senior teachers in school to talk through your options and your post 18 plans if you have any um, and what, what you're thinking of so that we can make sure that you've thought of all of the different angles and that you're making choices that are good for you. Following those, your core subject choices, that's your A-level choices, need to be completed on an online form which Miss Lee will send out by the 7th of February. She will then look at all of your options, build the timetable and confirm choices to you by the end of the spring term. It may be sometimes that your subjects don't fit at JCG, but that's another advantage of our collaboration partnership with the other colleges. So it may be that if your subject choices don't fit here, they do fit by using the other colleges. So she will do her very best to make sure that three or four subjects that you choose are available to you and that your timetable works. And those should be confirmed, as I said, by the end of the spring term. Then things get very busy for you uh, in the summer term. We have the beginning of study leave around the, the 6th of May, uh, and then you have your GCSE exams if all goes well. Um, so we leave you to, to quietly get along with those uh, and to do lots of studying and preparation for those. And then once that's all happened on the 27th, 7th of June, there is the year 12 induction day. So this is a day with Mrs. Pateri and I where we will take you through uh, the sick form and how that's going to run as of September. So you've got a really good idea uh, of what to expect at the end of the summer holidays. And we'll have people who are joining us from different colleges uh, to, to from other schools who are joining us full time from September to join in with that day as well. So you get to meet some of the other students in your year group. Then you have two months of summer holiday. Uh, and then on the 25th of August, it's GCSE results day. So our students will be in receiving results from us uh, and talking to us a little bit about um, any questions that they have over their A-level choices as a result of those. But it's also the day when if you're coming to us from another college, you can send us through your results and we can finally offer you uh, a place to join us in September. So what happens then is you get a couple of weeks where you can consider those A-level options. It may well be that you've done better in your GCSEs than perhaps you thought you might, or maybe there are uh, some things that have come up that have raised questions over the courses that you were going to take in September. And so it's time to revisit and reflect on those again and just make sure those choices are right for you. Then if you come in on the 6th of September, that's normally inset day uh, in most schools, we will meet with you and just confirm those courses, making sure that everything works uh, and that you've met the entry requirements for those courses. And then on the 7th of September, you're straight in to begin those courses and it's the beginning of your A-levels. That's a very exciting time. Um, so just a few links to share with you. The schedule of all of the subject presentations was emailed out to everybody, but it's also on our website um, on the first link there. Um, our Head of Politics can't do a live session this week, but his session has been already uploaded onto JCG TV, so you can find that on our YouTube channel. And all of the other subject presentations will be recorded as they're given live this week and again uploaded onto JCG TV. So if you do miss anything, um, it, would be, it would be ideal to attend the live presentations, but if you do miss any or any um, you, you can't attend, then just have a look on JCG TV by the end of the week and they should all be there. Finally, then, if you have any questions or queries relating to anything that you've heard this evening or if anything arises over the next few weeks and months and you uh, want to ask about that, then please do get in touch with either of us. Or if it's a, a question about the curriculum and choices, then possibly with Miss Lee or if it's something more more wide, uh, more broader, sorry, about uh, employability and, and jobs and skills and careers, then please get in touch with Mr Sykes. But for now, uh, we will pass over to the, the subject presentations for the week, and we hope that you have a really enjoyable week talking about A-level subjects. Thank you for joining us this evening.